Fellas, here we are in the year of our Lord and Savior. Um, okay, so catching you guys up. So last night, uh, obviously had that issue with Periscope. It was uh, glitching out. Um, I don't know what it looked like on the replay. Sorry, reading the text there. Um, I don't know what it looked like on the replay, but Jansen said it was glitching out. Um, and I couldn't like start up a stream again last night. So my plan was uh, first to just keep eating it at that point, do a, like do a video record. Um, but kind of as like uh, Riv alluded to um, today in the chat, it doesn't um, doesn't say anything about the you know it all being eaten in one sitting, but it does. Um, specify that it's got to be done like on Periscope or like a Google Hangout uh, like live or something um, so my plan was come in here today I brought it all in today to work with me uh, to be my lunch more like dinner because it's seven o'clock and I'm still here um, but I still can't get on Periscope uh, I don't know if anybody else has been on Periscope or if I'm the only one having this issue but yesterday it was at least like the video would start and then it would do that bullshit that I put in the chat with that picture there um, saying that it couldn't uh, it was connecting or reconnecting or I don't know I don't remember what it was saying uh, but the picture's in there um, but now it doesn't get past the stage of initializing live stream or whatever that is where it says down at the bottom before it brings up the red button that says broadcast or whatever it says initializing live stream I tried about six times already today, uh, and it doesn't come up. It doesn't move past that stage. So um, I'm resorting to just making a video. Uh, so I'm going to catch you guys up here. Can you see? Spam. That's where we're at. Um, uh, still got green eggs and ham. For those who were reading along with me yesterday, I'm sorry to leave you on a cliffhanger. And I still have all of my eggs. Uh, just pulled them out of the fridge. Uh, they got a little pepper, pepper ski on them. Um, so that's what we're about to do. I'm just going to set you guys up here while I uh, tank through the rest of this shit because I don't know what else to do, but I'm trying to finish this off uh, so that, you know, we're fucking done, okay? So I'm going to set you guys up here. Motherfucker. And uh, I'm going to go to work. I feel like I should have some fucking, uh, I don't know, I don't know, I'm just gonna fucking go for it. I still basically only taste Spam from like yesterday. It's pretty crazy. Cheers. Hope everybody had a safe new year. This Trump shit is wild, man. Mm. Joe Biden speaks on Trump. Didn't hear that. I'm gonna watch that while I eat. The soap you shower with? It's Cause I'll let you in on a little This is gonna be a long ass secret. video, so Most name brand bars and body we'll see if I can figure out how to get it in the chat. If not, I'll have to post it to the YouTube or something. You can see it better, but it's just dawned on me that you can't hang on. Fuck. I'm just trying to make sure you guys can see the bites.
Still standing. I'll just Daniel do this way. Get on to the Trump ship, Biden. That's what we want to hear. Actually, really looking forward to the eggs. Um, to taste something that isn't spam.
heading down there. Mm -hmm. It's much more boring doing it by myself with nobody in a chat. See what you guys are saying. Hmm. Already. And states have to balance their budgets. So this very thing is the whole idea. Your state has to balance your budget. So what's happening? You're going to see more and more people laid off, more firefighters, police officers, school teachers, first responders, the people we need badly now. The sunny. The states need more money to do the job. They the need the federal government to work with them. The sunny. Joe Biden is all old man. Here's one more thing. Voting for John and the Reverend won't just be good for America. It'll be good for George, and here's why. When you vote for John and Raphael, you'll be sending two senators who will fight for you, who'll put Georgia first, who'll put you first. You don't have that now. You have two senators who think it's more important to reward wealth than hard work in a tax system. Is this still going to talk about Trump at all? Hey, Joe. Do it for the country you love. That's all I got right now for you. Because I know you love this country. <sighs> yeah, I was paying attention to what, what's going on with Shia LaBeouf. It ain't good. It ain't good. I think you might be done, though, guys. I don't know if you can bounce back from this one.
tell you what though, man, Bernie, Bernie Sanders been fighting. Bernie has been fighting. That dude's been like, I'll filibuster y'all niggas. Oh, salty. Fellas, I am on my uh, very last fight of spam. Excuse me. Shit. All it. Alright. So, spam update. Spam a lot. <sighs> All gone. All gone. Jansen was saying it yesterday. The picture I posted actually makes this dish look a lot bigger than it is. Um, let's see, in reality, it's probably like half the size of my keyboard. Um,. It's not like a monstrous sized, it's not like a big ass casserole dish, you know? It's like a medium sized casserole dish. But um, it's a bit deceiving as far as what the size look like. Okay, I don't need a fork for the eggs. Let's put this shit away. I might not eat Spam for the rest of my life though. It's probably a lie, but definitely not for like a year. Thing. Come on. Okay, um, book or eggs, book or eggs. Actually, I just literally opened up to the page I was left on yesterday. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> All right, I gotta move this one over so you guys can probably see this. Hang on. Move some shit around. What can we do here? What can we do here? Stand like that. No, no, come on. I can just find the sweet spot here, man. Get this motherfucker. Ooh, ooh, I think I might have got it. Dang. I set it up on the telephone cord. Oh, damn. Y'all thought I was frozen there, but I blinked. I was going to see how long I could hold it. Okay. Here we are, continuing our story, our epic, let's see where this hell ends up, I'm pretty excited to see how this finishes up. You may like them, you will see, you may like them in a tree. I would not, could not in a tree, not in a car, you let me be. 
I do not like them in a box. I do not like them with a fox. I do not like them in a house. I do not like them with a mouse. I do not like them here or there. I do not like them anywhere. I do not like green eggs and spam. I do not like them, Sam I am. This is how I read for my kids, man. Mad animated and shit. A train? A train. A train. A train. Could you? Would you? On a train? What do you think he's gonna say? I'm gonna say, nah, nigga. Not on a train. Not in a tree. Not in a car, Sam. Let me be. I would not, could not in a box. I would not, could not with a fox. I will not eat them with a mouse. I will not eat them in a house. I will not eat them here or there. I will not eat them anywhere. I do not eat green eggs and ham. I do not like them, Sam. I am. This is like legit harassment. Just saying. Say, in the dark? Here in the dark. Would you? Could you in the dark? I would not, could not in the dark. Yo, I'm just thinking this. I love how, like, this story doesn't even start out with, like, how Sam meets the fucking Onesler. It's just like. Like, we don't know their relationship. They could be, like, from the same hood. They could be from, like, it kind of seems like they know each other, right? Like, they could be from the same community and shit. And, like, everybody's like, oh, there's that fucking crazy-ass Sam I am. He just rolls up on somebody every day, like, you like green eggs and ham, nigga? He's, like, that crazy dude from the neighborhood. But, like, we don't know. This might be the first time they ever they ever met. Although, if it was the first time I met, I think the Onesler would probably be, like, a little more, like... Like, dude, I don't even know you. Like, you need to step out of my space. Like, it could have gotten physical. But with the way it goes down, it seems like he is familiar with him. Because, like, he's trying to, like, not let it go too far. Like, he's pissed, but he's trying not. He's got. He's thinking, like, man, I gotta think about the whole neighborhood. Like, if I just tee off and kill this dude, like, that's gonna fuck up so much shit for me. So, I just, I gotta fucking get through this. You know, but, like, look at this. Like, back from page one, we just see Sam rolling around a corner, and boom. We don't know what he's rolling around the corner of. Is that a fucking mall? Is it a fucking truffula tree? Is it a... We don't know. He's just rolling around the corner, speeding by, and there's Mr. Wunsler. Just sitting. Sitting. This, is, this could be the street. This could be inside a building. We don't fucking know. But there, And he's reading... Wanna wants to think we're reading the news here, but if you look, it's just got letters. It says A B C D E F G H I J K. Yeah, so he's just reading the fucking alphabet. But you watch as Sam I am just speed on by, and all of a sudden Sam goes, "Oh, I know that guy." Or maybe he doesn't know that guy. Maybe he's just like, "Oh, I saw a guy." Let me turn around, see what he thinks about green eggs and ham, and then it starts. Like we get no introduction. We don't know who these dudes are, how they know each other. We don't get like warmed up into this narrative you know there's no inciting incident for you screenwriting uh, uh, novices out there you know just bang oh actually hang on correction let me correct myself I think I just found out the secret to this book See, he flips by Sam I Am and then rides back past him. And before he even, like, before Sam I Am actually announces who he is, Mr. Wunsler is like, that Sam I Am, that Sam I Am. I do not like that Sam I Am. So in reality, we've just learned two things. First of all, they do know each other. They're not strangers. We don't know what relationship they have. They may be, like, brother-in-laws. They may just be, like, neighbors from the block. But they do know each other, Okay. Um, because right away, I know he could just read a sign, but he is clearly making a statement like, this ain't the first time he's had Sam I Am roll up on him, on some crazy shit. Um, he throws his newspaper down, right away, his alphabet newspaper, see that? And it's just like, that's Sam I Am, that's Sam I Am, I do not like that Sam I Am. Like, you don't know at this point that he's going to roll up on him and start asking about green eggs and ham, he just rode by, and just the sight of him riding, swinging by his face twice... Dude threw down his newspaper, couldn't have it. And he's just like, oh, this fucking guy. I really cannot stand this guy. It's kind of how I felt about Ashley Francello for you Emmaus grads. 
be enough for me to throw down my alphabet newspaper. And then out of nowhere, like he doesn't, Saint Land doesn't say hello, nothing. Doesn't say howdy neighbor. Just puts this plate in this hand in this dude's face. Do you like green eggs and ham? I can see why that why fucking Mister Oneser doesn't like Sam uh, Sam I am. And it's no surprise. He's kind of an asshole. But uh, yeah, it's wild getting to know these guys on a deeper level, understand their relationship a bit more. This isn't their first encounter, you know what I mean? That's what we're starting to realize. There's a prequel to this. Um, maybe it's Green Eggs and Spam, who knows? But they've clearly had an encounter, had altercations in the past, because Mr. Oneser knows who Sam Ham is, and he was not happy to see him. And then, you know, you know where we go from there. Man, it's crazy. Let's get back into it. <clears throat> Would you, could you, in the rain? Just following this dude around, man, relentless. I would not, could not in the rain, not in the dark, not on a train, not in a car, not in a tree. I do not like them, Sam, you see. Not in a house, not in a box, not with a mouse, not with a fox. Not, uh, I will not eat them here or there. I do not like them anywhere. Can't be even more clear. You do not like green eggs and ham? Like, nigga, I done told you for 40 pages already I don't like that shit. How many times I gotta say it? I do not like them, Sam, I am. Could you would you with a goat? I would not, could not with a goat. Would you, could you on a boat? Fall into a boat. I could not, would not on a boat. I will not, will not with a goat. I will not eat them in the rain. I will not eat them on a train. Not in the dark, not in a tree, not in a car. You let me be. I do not like them in a box. I do not like them with a fox. I will not eat them in a house. I do not like them with a mouse. I do not like them here or there. I do not like them anywhere. I mean, look at all this shit. They're falling from the sky into the boat. They got the car, the goat, the fox. Fucking house, the mouse. Wild. I do not like green eggs and ham. I do not like them, sir, my home. Underwater, catch that effect. You do not like them, so you say. Try them, try them, and you may. Try them, and you may, I say. Now nah, they're all wet and shit, though. Kind of gross. Sam, if you will let it me be, I will try them. You will see. He's like, this dude Sam always coming around on some bullshit. The only way I'm going to get him to fucking go away is if I goddamn eat some of this green eggs and ham. So that's what I'm going to do. And look at Mr. Wunsler. Look at him. Watch everybody looking with anticipation the fox. Is he gonna eat it? He didn't eat it with me. Dude on the boat. Oh, damn, this nigga about to eat it. I don't remember who this guy is. Train, maybe? Train conductor? Some lady, some dude. The goat, the mouse. Sam I am. They're all fucking paying attention. Heavy anticipation. Say, I like green eggs and ham. I do. I like them, Sam I am. And I would eat them in a boat. And I would eat them with a goat. And I will eat them in the rain. And in the dark. And on a train. And in a car. And in a tree. They are so good. So good, you see. So I will eat them in a box. And I will eat them with a fox. And I will eat them in a house. And I will eat them with a mouse. And I will eat them here or in there. Say, I'll eat them anywhere. I do so like green eggs and ham. Thank you. Thank you, Sam I am. Wow. I did not expect that to go that way. Anybody else? That was quite the uh, twist ending, I would say. They set you up, you know, and then pull the rug out, rug out from under you. 
Classic. Classic. All right. Oh, so just gotta eat six fucking hard boiled eggs. And now we're done with this bullshit. Um, these are cold. I'm curious. How, I get. I guess you can probably do it either way. But do we have a preference? Does anybody have a preference on uh, how they like their hard boiled eggs, cold or warm? I feel like I can only really think about eating them cold. I don't know. Does anybody like hate hard boiled eggs? I like them, but I feel like I feel like there are definitely people out there, especially the yolks, that consistency. I feel like there are definitely people out there who don't fuck with hard boiled eggs. Man. One down, by the way. <sighs> Two down. Did anybody take off for their birthday? I never take off for my birthday. My birthday's on the 9th. What day is that? Yo, come on. Yo, my calendar straight up like does not want to be pulled up sometimes. It's just like, nah, nigga. Saturday, okay, so I don't gotta worry about taking off. Every year, Nancy's like, so you taking off your birthday? And I'm like, no. What do you mean? Like, why don't you take off for your birthday? Because I'm trying to make money on my birthday? Like, what do you mean? I don't know. I guess it's something people do, but I never did that. Not unless I had something like major planned that day or something, but. Three down. Three. Three. Yeah, honest to God, I mean, we'll see how I feel after two more hard-boiled egg, but I'm honestly enjoying this. It is, like, such a blessing not to be eating Spam anymore that I'm honestly, be, this is pretty fucking good. Mmm. I can't imagine what it must have been like to eat all that spam for someone who like legit doesn't like like spam at all. Like that wasn't easy for me, but I can like enjoy, you know, a couple pieces of ha spam without a problem. Like that's tasty. But for someone who like actually despises that shit, that would be fucking rough. Again, respect the skizzle. <coughs> We're down. So, I watched the flight attendant. That shit went downhill, man. I was like surprisingly invested and interested after the first episode. They introduced a couple things you're not expecting, and I'm like, okay, all right. And obviously, like that Kaylee Coco, whatever her name is, she's sexy, so you can watch her in like anything, but. Um, yeah, they introduce a couple things, you know, that you're kind of, in, it, it's, it's like, it's not what you expect. You're like, okay, this show's got a little, a little something to it. Okay, a little something to it. Uh, and that doesn't last very long. 
Like, they keep those elements, they continue, but they're kind of just like a style over substance thing. And, like, story is pretty weak. It's, like, lifetime TV movie shit, like, storyline-wise. Like, it's not super creative. Um, my, you know, it, it's, yeah. Um, and she's just, like, not, like, a very competent character, you know what I'm saying? Like, I won't tell y'all anything in case y'all decide to watch it, but... <clears throat> She just gets herself in, like, trouble pretty fucking easily. And she doesn't get out of it because of shit she does. She just gets fucking lucky. So. Uh, so that's officially not a recommend. Alright. I gotta cut my nails too. My nails is long. I watched The Boys a second time through because Nancy wanted to watch it. So I've officially seen both seasons of that show twice now. It's a good show. This is my last one, gentlemen. Ultima. Huevo. Ultimo huevo. Yeah. El ultimo huevo. This bite right here, I think we officially put a wrap on the 2020 fantasy football season. Um, congrats, Timmy, I guess. Yeah. Eggs are all gone. Gonna wipe my hands a little bit here, hang on. And there it is, man. Spam done, eggs done, green eggs and ham red. That's that, fellas. Yo, shit. This is 40 minutes long. I just realized, since it's so long, I'm going to have to put it on YouTube. I wonder if it's going to, like, play right since it's horizontal. Uh, I don't even know, but... I don't care, because it's done.